Hello there. Today I'm going to take you through five tips before going out on a mountain bike ride. And also, in two days, I'm going to fly bike park on the 417 to do some mountain bike riding. And I'm also preparing for my bike in this video for that ride. So I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you later on in the video. See ya! So the first thing to do, I am just picked up some new valve caps. So at the moment we've got these yucky old plasticky black things on, on both sides and we're going to change them with a really nice new ones. Now we've got these rainbow coloured valve caps on, it's looking pretty fresh, fresh with the blue. So we're happy to go on to the next step. So now what I'm going to do is the worst thing that happens when you're riding is for everything to fall apart. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to check that everything's tight and everything's working properly and you can do this too. This step is really useful because I found out once checking up my bike that my bottle cage holder was very loose and if I'd gone over any big jump my bottle would have gone and my cage too. And that wouldn't be very good. On to the next step. Also another thing I do on my bike is check that everything's tight so nothing loosens up on a ride or makes a horrible racket and you don't have the tools to do it. But this is a bit like the last step and I actually did that. Um, just check that all the bolts, uh, nuts and bolts, and everything that's keeping the bike attached is all um, is all nice and um, tight, so nothing falls off and it's rattly. So we've done a few steps, and let's go to the next step. So let's go. The worst thing that happens when you're out on a trail is if you're, you forgot to pump up your tyres and they're flat the whole way down. So make sure you do that every time before you're around. So when you're pumping up tyres, the best thing to use is a handheld one to pump up your tyres. So that's what I'm going to use now because on a trail you can't take the, your big pump. You're just going to be able to have a small little pump. So I'm just going to put a little bit of air into the tyres until... They're nice and, and they're nice and ready for our trip to the bike park. So yes. So the last step to do to your bike is to wash the bike. So it's ready for your bike and it looks fresh and everyone's like, wow, what a bike. Um, but unfortunately it is literally just start absolutely tipping it down. So right now I cannot wash my bike, but I might, mm, you just know how to wash your bike. I'm going to do an extra videos later on this, this year, next year, how to wash your bike. But you do, But the next step is to wash your bike. I unfortunately can't do that now because it's still tipping it. But, um, and I'm going to keep updated with my bike and I will see you in two days on the trails at the 417 Bike Park. Um, 
and it's going to be a blast. I'm going to put my GoPro hel um, GoPro on the helmet, and it's going to be fun. So I'll see you then. So see ya. Peace out.